In this video, I will provide you with an example of how to build a simple bridge, how sturdy it will be, and stuff like that, uh, structurally strong, remains to be undone. I've never built one of these in person. Uh, but there are there is more information on the internet. Simply type in Da Vinci Bridge. This is um, according to um, some of the books I've uh, gathered the information from about building it. It is from Leonardo da Vinci himself. So whether it was invented by somebody else, I cannot guarantee that uh, information. So, But I can tell you that the bridge seems like a pretty good idea. Now you can always use larger lumber so and smaller pieces. These are 12 foot 2 by 4s and 4 foot 2 by 4s. And, uh, you, and, and this bridge just might not be that sturdy. You might need to use smaller lumber, maybe 8 footers. And um, they might need to be 4x6s or 4x10s or 6x12, something like that, if you're actually looking for a bridge that's going to be pretty strong. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, we're going to start with the 2x4s on each side with a board in the center there. And simply place a couple of more of the boards next to them. Then we will simply raise the boards over here, each one of them and slide a 2x4 underneath them so that we have something like this. And we currently now have our first bridge. This is if you just needed to get something here, you could probably do this. And remember, these are 12 feet. So this is probably about a, I'm guessing, a 14 foot span here. Now, if we want to make it a little longer, we will simply just continue to add boards to the bridge and I just want to show you the gap here there's a gap between the boards because of the boards we're going to be using in the other directions and again all this stuff can be screwed bolted together after you are done or while you are working on it so here's the next step we have our bridge and then we're just simply adding a couple more boards here then we will simply raise this section of our bridge and then set it on top of another board that will be sitting on top of the two boards we just added here. Again, to give you a view around of what the gaps are here, and then the boards that are kind of sticking past a little bit. And I know some of you are going to have a tendency, you're going to want to pull these boards in. I would keep them straight, keep them parallel to each other that way you can uh, it'll help you when you start installing the next um, boards for the deck on the bridge so again you could actually stop here if this is the length that you wanted for your bridge you could stop here and again if you could just imagine these being four by fours instead of two by fours they're going to be a little stronger in this example we are going to do things a little different it might be easier for you to assemble this with uh, the boards actually attached, the bracing board, if it was attached to the side boards here, just simply screw it or nail it to the other boards and make sure that it is in the correct position. That way you could simply just pull it in, lift these boards on top of here, and then take these boards here and set them on top of this one. And of course, it would look something like this. So this would be the section that you would prefab. You would just nail this together and then just simply slide these two side boards on top of your brace, support brace, and then simply pull these up and over onto this brace. Another view of it there. And again, this is quite a big. I want to say this is about 25 feet, the span of this right here. And after you have attached everything, all of the sideboards to the support braces, you can start to install your decking. Now, here I just took some 2x4s and I think I put them about 6 foot on center. And you could always put them right next to each other. Uh, the reason why I made this video is because I found plenty of information on the Leonardo da Vinci bridge. I just didn't see, find where they had anything showing how you could uh, use it uh, as a functional bridge. So, you know, they had a couple of uh, things where you could jump from brace, support brace to support brace. But uh, this right here ought to give you a better idea 
of something you could actually walk over as long as it was structurally stable. So, and you might be able to do this with smaller boards. You know, these are 12 footers. If you cut these in half and use six footers, you might be able to um, make a stronger bridge also. So I'd imagine the longer the boards and the skinnier the boards, the weaker the bridge is going to be. Smaller the boards, um, going to be a little stronger. But if you may use larger wood, like I was saying, then uh, you, you could end up with a, a pretty uh, good bridge, something that uh, you're not going to be driving a truck over, but you, something you could walk over.